Come on. Does it get any more beautiful? Oh, jeez. So we're heading to Portland in a couple weeks. My Olivia and I, <clears throat> and I'm so excited and the gardens we're gonna see and all of it, but I am a little bummed about what I will miss here in the laughing place, you know, cause there'll be, oh, there'll be all kinds of stuff. It looks like we desperately need to harvest some chamomile. Don't worry, I'm gonna do it. Welcome to Frugal Mama Gardens. I am out here. The summer is really kicking in. We've got the heat going on. I am out here when I can. Ugh. It's been hot and it's gonna get real hot. So we've got a lot to get done before this heat wave hits later this week. I don't know, I, I've got a long list, but several other projects going on. So let's just jump in and we'll do whatever we can. One other thing. Oh, I'm so excited. So my poor, <laughs> my poor aloe, I had thought it died because it all, all of it was like this, just ugh. But I set it out here and was like, I'm just gonna leave it, we'll see what happens. The kids ended up knocking it over. They were playing with friends here. It has been through everything, but guess what? By leaving it alone, something wonderful has happened. So it appears I was probably overwatering. So I watered today. That was the first time in a week at least, and I just gave it a little bit. I'm gonna look up. Okay, it's so cute. I'm gonna look up some tips on the best ways to grow these. And uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we keep it going for a long, long time. Some of you will remember how much I struggled to get hollyhocks to grow for years. We have become totally successful with them now, but to the point that, <laughs> you even believe this? They're just popping up everywhere. Unfortunately, I am gonna have to pull these. If I can get any with roots intact, I will pop them up or replant them elsewhere. Look how beautiful. <laughs> First lily of the season. Oh, and she's gorgeous. Poor thing's got some sawdust on her. I've been working out here, but she's beautiful. A whole bunch of little seedlings that have that are getting their uh, third leaves fourth leaves so I am going to prick some of those out and move them elsewhere and we have some deadheading to do another fun one love to show you guys when our hen and chicks start blooming yep there comes a bloom shooting up I love them because they are so alien looking it's just fantastic yeah so cool Give it a couple weeks and it'll it'll get all the way up and then it'll flower and it will seriously look like an HR Giger, Geiger, Giger kind of a kind of a deal. You'll see. It'll be fabulous. So over here I've got the daisies and the hollyhocks and they need some support. The daisies just need to be able to stand up straight and the hollyhocks, they're doing fine so far, but we learned last year that they like to fall over. So for the daisies, I'm going to use my clippers and one of these tomato cages to make something to hold them up. And then for the hollyhocks, not just those ones, but some others as well, we will use some hemp twine and tie them to a secure spot. You never know when the next windstorm is gonna start. And even without the windstorm, because of the sun situation, these are already like bent way over. So then if a really big windstorm or hail or anything shows up, these are just gonna get totally obliterated. We also need to sprinkle some bug powder on them. They are doing surprisingly well with how much they're dealing with with bugs. I'm pretty impressed. But anyway, we will tie these ones to the railing here and secure these ones to the railing over here. And then for the daisies, let's make them a support. It's already going. Yeah. Okay, I got the bottom part off. I'm gonna have to take a break. You guys know I have pretty bad arthritis in my hands. The fact that I'm even still able to do what I just did makes me very happy. So, okay, this would be easier, a lot easier if I had like a little welding, is there a saw, is there a welding saw? I don't know, but it would be a lot easier. 
if I had something that could just jit, jit, but I don't. So I'm going to take just a short break and then I will clip off these two and bring you back when we are putting it in the garden. Word to the wise, it's a lot easier if you do it before they're all grown up and bloomed, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. So we did it now, better late than never. I'm gonna do a hard chop on them and then I can sit and pluck off the good bits. They need a good chop anyhow. and it will make it easier for me to actually harvest the chamomile. Anytime I see these, I'm plucking them out. They don't do much other than thug their way through the garden and take over. Yeah, they're not gonna be taking up any more space. No, no, no. See, now I can sit in peace in the shade whilst I harvest. Look at all these beautiful little flowers. Mmm. I don't drink the chamomile tea, but James, my husband, and my daughter, Olivia, they do. Smells good, though. I don't think I've ever taken the time to stop and smell it. it has like a honey kind of a fragrance to it. That is really pleasant. Mmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Just a couple minutes later, um, yeah, chamomile smells great, but I'm pretty sure I'm allergic. <laughs> my nose, all of a sudden my sinuses are just like, <laughs> While I'm out here, I'm going to also do some deadheading. These sweet williams, they will come back again with a fresh bloom in a few weeks. It's a brief show with the lilies, very brief, just a few good days, but God, they're beautiful when they're in bloom. Ooh. <laughs> Getting warm, guys, summer is in full swing. It is really happening. Thank you so much for watching and uh, come on back. We'll be getting some more summer gardening done. I have a lot to get done before the trip to Portland with my Olivia, so, oh. We gotta get it ready, we gotta get it prepped. We have harvesting to do, processing to do, <sighs> and some resting, and some hydrating. Yeah, be sure to hydrate out there. Have a beautiful day, we'll see you all real soon.